Here we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max fine woven case, which I've done an unboxing in a different video, link above. Just gonna put this aside. Here we have is the iPhone 15 Pro Max box. This is the black variant, got the 256 gigabyte version because you can use USB-C now and attach more storage that way when you're recording. Here we have on the back of the box, all the stuff that's usually printed on an iPhone box. And well, we don't really need a knife to open this up. So we're just gonna pull the tabs on this box. These pull tabs were introduced last year with the iPhone 14, just to be more of an environmentally safe company so that we're not throwing too much plastic out. If you notice, the box is also not wrapped in plastic. Here again, we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the black version. So this year, Apple has introduced titanium into the phone. If you notice, you can see that the sides and the edges of the phones are not as shiny as the iPhone 14. And that's because it's titanium and not stainless steel. Now, moving the phone aside, we can see that Apple has given us a very nice braided USB-C cable. This one is, can get things done by charging and putting data, but you're going to want to get a newer one that has faster data speeds. Now, if we look in the little package, we get the normal um, information that talks about uh, it's eSIM now, as well as an Apple sticker. Unfortunately, I wish it was a black Apple sticker, but eh, we can do what we can do. Again, here, that's just talking about eSIM. And then this is just the pretty much safety regulations for using the phone. No manual for the iPhone. And if you really want to look at the inside of the box, it kind of looks like an old school iPod. So moving this stuff away, uh, we're gonna get back into the iPhone itself. I'm just gonna throw everything in here, get rid of the trash on the table. All right, so now let's pull this lovely Apple sticker. And if now you see, you can see that this is the iPhone. Uh, pretty much the screen hasn't changed too much, the main, difference again is that uh, for this phone's uh, screen we do have some curved edges instead of sharp edges and we can also see that nice USB-C port and we do have the speaker grills unfortunately it is a mono speaker at the bottom you have your 5G antenna you have your power button um, and you have the antennas around there. If you're looking, there's no microphones built in on the side. They're actually built in through the speaker on the glass. The new thing now, which is an action button, and you're able to actually program that button. You have your rockers up and down. And as we're going, again, you can see that you have your antenna. And we do have the dynamic island as well as a front facing selfie camera that does record in 4K 30. Uh, screen hasn't really changed, but the bezels have. Now, if we're looking at the new cameras, you can definitely see that that camera right there is a addition to the iPhone. I do appreciate your time, guys. This is the unboxing of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Stay tuned. There's going to be a full discussion on my thoughts about the iPhone and my full review. Thank you again. This is Consumer Compute. This is a video that YouTube thinks you would like.